Yeah, so I get the phone cut off. But we're getting it back through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai. And there's nothing that the so-called white man could do about it. You know? The book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 9. And it says, actually, Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. And it reads, the, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them that ye are, ye are the sons of the living power, the living God. Verse 11, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and, and appointed themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be in the day of Jezreel. Because right now, as you can see that, you know, we're coming together now. The children of Judah, you know, the, the southern tribe and the northern tribe, we're coming together and we're being put back into remembrance and we're coming back together as that one stick. You know, we're coming together as the prophecy says. You know, in the book of um, Amos, the eighth chapter, I believe the eighth chapter, well, the ninth chapter and the um, 11th verse, I think it's the ninth chapter where it says that the Lord is going to raise up the ruins. So right now, you know, what you're seeing, Esau, is the Most High. He's raising up the ruins as, 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 as old. He's raising up the tabernacle of David, you know. And this is what you're seeing. This is what you're experiencing. Esau, like the elder Apostle Gabar said, you know, you're experiencing manifest destiny right now because prophecy is coming to pass, as the scripture says. And we're coming back and we're taking back what you've stolen from us. You know, you've stolen our nationality. You know, you've stolen our land. You know, you've stolen our possessions. You know, and you pretty much you've stolen this earth. You know, because everything you got was by the sword, you know, which is your blessing. But now, you know, through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshua, we're taking back what you have stolen from us, you know. And our nationality, our inheritance, you know, our legacy, we're taking that back because it's our legacy. It's our inheritance, you know, and it's our culture and it's our power, you know. Through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and we're taking it back. So, this is why you're not, <laughs> you're losing sleep because you're seeing that we're waking up in an, at a large scale right now. And the elect of us is coming back to our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know, you, you tried your very best, you know, to try to hide this truth and to try to keep it away from us. But, you know, through the spirit and power, through the power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you're being exposed. And you're being revealed, you know, that the, you're being revealed that that the devil that you are, but the devil that you are, you know, and now it's time for you to pay. It's time for you to go down and it's time for you to suffer, you know. And you ain't escaping these curses neither, you know.
because it says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7 and it reads and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and them that hate thee which persecuted thee you know so these these curses are going to be put upon you now you saw starting with you and all the way down to these other nations you know you know all these curses all the curses of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter is going to be put upon you now you know you're going to have to fulfill these curses now you know and there's no there's no escape in it and there's no way out you know so right now you saw your experience and manifest destiny right before your very eyes you know so with that all praises and glories to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakwakwadash, double instead apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Yaki Mount on Highways and Byways.